So I'm Justin Barnes, I'm the chairman of BNM Analysts. The manufacturing sector is the primary sector for the development of um, skills in many economies and most importantly for the creation of middle classes. The, the manufacturing sector at its peak in South Africa contributed about 23% to GDP. It's declined to around 12.5% at the moment, which is obviously very concerning. It's concerning for two reasons. The one is the actual number of jobs that have declined. The other is the quality of jobs that have declined. So the argument is we need manufacturing to drive increased employment, but also to support the transition of South Africa towards becoming a middle income economy with a much larger middle class. The big challenge, of course, is access to capital. We have a very um, unsettled domestic environment, which has resulted in low levels of foreign direct investment and even lower levels of domestic investment. Well, we've been working on uh, business models with some of the leading manufacturers in South Africa to try and understand how they can sweat capital better. No one is going to sink money into an investment unless the return is substantially better than having the money in a financial instrument with a guaranteed return. When we analysed the opportunities for investment in the manufacturing sector, we discovered that there were very few business cases that actually uh, made it attractive for capital to invest in the opportunity. The clothing industry in South Africa operates in a metropolitan area on the basis of a 42 and a half hour work week. So what does that mean? It means that if you take the whole week, seven days times 24, you end up with 168 hours. Well, a factory actually only runs for 42 and a half of those 168 hours. The consequence is that when you buy an expensive piece of capital machinery, it's only being sweated effectively one quarter of the time. The other three quarters of the time, it lays idle. If we don't have access to capital, how do we grow? Well, actually, we can grow into all of that idle capacity that already exists and is not being used. So, for example, instead of workers working a five-day week, why don't they work four days on and four days off? But instead of working the 42 and a half hours, uh, five days a week, they can work the 42 and a half hours equivalent over a four-day cycle actually allows an organization to run an entirely new labor force of the same size the other four days on an eight-day cycle. So if we see production as an opportunity of production over four-day cycles rather than a week and we keep running those four-day cycles over a calendar year, we can increase the production capacity based on the model that I've just explained by well over 70 odd percent, which means we can increase employment by 70 odd percent with exactly the same amount of capital deployed. But of course what happens when one runs that type of additional uh, production capacity over the same capital base is one starts rec receiving a substantially improved return on the capital that's being employed because you're generating substantial return. So when we ran the model for a clothing manufacturer where it was only making a 9% return on the capital that was employed, it actually increased the, the rate of capital uh, employed to 58%. So at 9% they're not going to invest because that's basically at the margins of the, um, the return one would get on a risk-free uh, financial instrument. But if they get a 38% return, obviously they'd be silly to have their money in, in, an, in a financial instrument and would be substantially better off having the money in a piece of uh, manufacturing capital. So how does one change the, the equation? And we believe that conceptualizing a new type of um, operating model where the labor force effectively works um, longer hours but over shorter periods with longer periods off, one has the ability to change the competitiveness value proposition of the South African manufacturing landscape, particularly in labor intensive manufacturing organizations, which is where uh, we need to generate uh, more economic activity because that's where employment creation will happen.